Today on Tuba Da Vinci, we're gonna show you how to install a new tape measure for your table saw and how to calibrate it to get really accurate cuts. So stick around. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take a razor blade and remove the old tape from your table. Just be very careful and just move very slowly. Okay, you can see that I have the old tape removed, but this is like five years old, and it left quite a bit of residue, so we'll try to clean that up. So a lot of that gunk will come off just like that. So the tape is gonna be kind of from here onward, so I'm just gonna clean up the whole thing. And we'll do the same for the right tape measure. We used to have a tape measure on the left and the right side, but in part one of this series, I mentioned that I moved my entire fence to the right, so I'm not gonna need that anymore, and I'm gonna have to take this off as well. And again, we're gonna clean up all this goo, all the residual from the stick-on tape. And if you used any kind of a degreaser to help get any of the residue off, you want to just give it a quick clean with glass cleaner or something else to make sure that all that lubricant and that oil is all removed so you get a nice clean stick. Okay, so the next step is to determine where your zero point on your new tape should be. So you can either bring the fence all the way to the blade to figure out where zero is, or I have this two inch piece of aluminum and I'm going to use that as a guide. So I've put my two inch piece of aluminum and I've noted exactly where the blade comes and I've locked my fence down. And so now I know that where my fence is marking right now is at two inches. You'll notice that there's an arrow that tells you which side that the window marker the little eyeglass is for. So I have one here on the left and one here on the right. So now because I only have capacity on one side, it doesn't really matter, but I figured I would follow the convention. And so what I'm gonna do is now that I have my table saw at two inches, I'm gonna bring my tape over until two inches is showing here. And now just so I have a little bit more room to work with, what I'll do is I'll make a mark with my blade at 10. So I'll come over to 10 and I have made a mark, that's really quite clear. So now what I can do is I can take my fence away and attach this. The other consideration as well is based on how thick your, your tape measure is gonna be, you'll wanna see how it looks in the window. So for example, if I were to move it up and down, you're gonna wanna figure out if you wanna have it lower or, or higher. Actually, it might be better if I push it up because I can see the demarcations at the bottom a little bit better because my lines that run at the bottom. So now I'm going to unlock my fence and put it away. And I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling the tape away. Okay, I'm just gonna peel off a little at a time. I'm gonna peel it to the 10 point and move the slide the tape along and line it up right at the 10 and drop it down. So I've got that set up. Now again, remember that there's a little bit of room in the window for a final adjustment. So you just wanna get as close as you can. And I'm gonna push the tape all the way to the top as I mentioned and just stick it down. So I'm gonna follow that all the way through. Now just take your finger and make sure there's no air bubbles and that the adhesive is firmly on the table. So that's looking really good. And the last thing I'm gonna do here is at the end, I'm gonna cut off the extra. So there we are, our beautiful new table saw tape measure. And as you can see here, my maximum capacity is just a little over 52 inches. And I was able to achieve that with my old table saw fence just by sliding it all the way over. And this is something I would definitely recommend you try doing as well. So now that we have our table saw all set up, 
The last thing to do is to calibrate it and to see how well we did and how accurate our cuts are going to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the fence to two inches again with the eye level and we're gonna cut this piece of wood to two inches. And after we do that, we're gonna compare our cut to our two inch aluminum stock to see how accurate it is. I also have a set of digital calipers that we can use to measure and to make any fine adjustments that we need to on the eye level on the table saw. Okay, so now we have our four test pieces and now we're gonna cut them to two inches. So now here's our aluminum stock and we're gonna hold it up right next to it and that is, wow, that is actually really, really, really good. So I think we are just fine. And just to get another sense of how we did, let's get the dowel calipers out. I'm going to slam it shut and it's reading zero, so I'm good to go. And it's reading 2.0055. And let's compare our wood piece. I'm getting about the same, 2.0. 0030. So that's probably as good as we're gonna get. Remember that in woodworking, it's not really about accuracy, it's about precision. Accuracy is how close to two inches you are. And this is wood, the blade is wobbling, the, the cut might not be square on both sides as it rides along your fence, there's a million variables. But if you can make sure your cuts are precise, which means that they're close to each other, meaning if your table saw is off by five thousandths of an inch, well, all of your cuts will be off by five thousandths of an inch. And as a result, everything's gonna work out just fine. But that's about the best I'm gonna do as far as this table saw goes. So I'm really happy with that and I'm done and I'm good to go. So that is how you can set up your table saw with a new tape measure and get accurate, precise cuts every time. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. We're gonna have more of these videos for the table saw upgrade series uh, soon. So thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.